the Python for Everybody specialization from the University of Michigan on Coursera. And this is a set of five courses that begin with a beginner-friendly introduction to programming in Python. And gradually you're going to build up to more advanced topics. And the courses cover a range of areas from data structures, accessing web data, and using databases with both Python and SQL. And each course is designed to be a continuation of the previous one. So depending on your level, either take them in order or complement your learning by taking the things that you need a better understanding of. And because the first course is programming for everybody, this is designed to be a complete beginner's course and provides us an introduction to programming and Python. It covers topics such as installing Python, variables and expressions, conditional code, functions, loops and iterations. Sometimes you need to skip through this because you might already have a basic understanding of Python, but if you're a complete beginner, I think the first course is extremely important. Then we have also Python for data structures, and this course introduces the core data structures of Python, such as lists, dictionaries, and tuples, and teaches us how to use them in order to perform more and more complex data analysis. Next up, we have the Python to access web data. And this course shows how to use Python to scrape and read web data and actually work with APIs. It covers working with HTML, XML, and the JSON data format in Python. And the fourth is using databases with Python and SQL. And this covers the SQL basics and basic database design for storing data. And the course uses SQLite as its database and D3 for data visualizations. You're also going to build web crawlers and you're going to understand how to gather data and create those visualizations. Finally, the most exciting part is the capstone project. You're going to retrieve, process, and visualize data with Python. And this is where you're going to apply all of the tools that you learned in order to design and create your own applications. You're going to get a chance to build a search engine, then you're going to explore data sources, and then you're going to retrieve, process, and visualize email data. And all of these courses are great, and the backing of the University of Michigan will definitely give you a boost in the eyes of potential employers. You gotta keep in mind two things though when it comes to learning a programming language, you know, be it Python or anything else. Because becoming a professional requires real-world expertise, and potentially years of practice in order to achieve mastery in a particular subject. So while you're gonna learn the basics, be sure that you're gonna improve your learning by doing real project work. Because the best type of work that you can do is to actually build your own applications with the goal of making some money from them. Because it may happen, it may not. You might make money or you might not make any money, but the goal needs to be there. It can be a win-win situation regardless of the outcome. Because best case, you're gonna make some money from an app that you develop. And worst case, you're gonna learn Python properly, getting real-world expertise. Again, you gotta be wary of the courses that tell you that you're gonna become a professional in no time. Because look, you can definitely learn the basics in no time, but becoming a professional is definitely something different. And another thing that you need to keep in mind is that a true learning experience requires more time investment. You know, you need at least three to four hours a day in order to maximize those returns because you cannot really expect to create a career from something that you only dedicate an hour a day. Some courses claim that you can do that, but they're just trying to give you false expectations so that you buy the course. But if you're aware of these two things, I believe that you're always going to make better choices when it comes to choosing a course or a book or pretty much any other resource to learn a new skill. You always got to go for the courses and the specializations that make it clear what you're going to get from them. The specializations and the courses that don't overpromise. And Python for everybody is a good specialization for beginners because they don't claim otherwise, right? And I really, really appreciate the work that they put in. And that's it for me guys, I believe that it's easier than ever to learn Python if you're aware of the things that I talked about. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Happy learning and I'll see you in the next one.